Video is an increasingly important part of communicating ideas, and SharePoint 2013's media asset capabilities make it a snap to add video. Video can be added to your SharePoint page from video files, internet services, existing SharePoint content, and other places on your company's network. SharePoint displays video using an HTML5-based media web part, which is compatible with a broad range of computers and mobile devices. Let's take a look at a common way to get some motion on your page. Mike's a site owner on the company's training site, and as part of the resources, he'd like to add a training video. He'll start by clicking Edit in the header. He clicks the area where he wants to add the video, then opens the Insert ribbon and clicks Video and Audio. He can choose from different ways of adding video. From Computer allows video files to be uploaded from your computer. Embed enables videos from Internet services such as YouTube to be referenced on the page. From SharePoint displays video files previously uploaded into a SharePoint library. And From Address links to a video located in another network location such as a file share or web server. Mike has the video he wants to upload on his desktop so he selects From Computer. Here's a tip. SharePoint works best with shorter video files encoded in the MP4, Windows Media, or QuickTime H.264 format. In the Upload Media dialog, he browses to an MP4 video file on his computer, selects it, and clicks Open. Mike notes the destination of the uploaded file is the Site Assets Library, which is the default location on the SharePoint site for all files uploaded during page editing. The video is contained within a media web part. He can click the play icon in the web part to preview the video. It doesn't matter whether your team is located in the same building, in different departments, or is spread out. With the video selected, a media ribbon displays options to modify how it displays. For example, Mike can replace the title so it matches the video content. The title will show just above the video frame. The media web part includes a static preview image that displays before the video starts playing. Mike wants to replace it with one that he's created that represents the topic of the video. He clicks Change Image, then From SharePoint, which displays the default assets for the media player. The current preview is a generic image. Mike's uploaded a better image to the site assets library. He'll preview the image, and then click Insert to replace the current image. Next, he'll change the size of the video so it fits better within the page. He'll adjust the horizontal size to 480 pixels, and since the lock aspect ratio box is checked, the vertical size changes automatically when he presses the Tab key. That's more like it. Despite the video size on the page, the player has a full screen playback button that allows Mike to preview the video before saving the page. It looks good, and Mike's all done, so he clicks Save. Here's the final resized version of the video displaying the title and the custom preview image. By adding video on your page, it's easy to add some lights, camera, and action to help communicate ideas to your team.